Tjena, I'm Adrien Inbar and welcome to another video. First time here, go subscribe to the channel. So I've been shooting a large amount of landscape photos in the past month and I've been mainly using my 24 to 70 or my 70 to 200, that big ass bazooka lens. The reason for that is it gives me a variety of different focal lengths without needing to swap the lens too often. That means I can take my camera without the plan and just grab it, go out and shoot something. I have a new favorite spot to go to. It's nice going there and just relax and take it easy. Ease my mind a little bit. I've been stuck in town a lot lately and this place is, it feels good going there. Come with me and I'll show you this beautiful place. It's not beautiful, but let, let you come with me and I'll show you the place. Oh. <coughs> oh. oh, I'm not in shape for this. I'm not in shape for this. Oh. Oh. <sighs> I made it up. It was a little bit heavier to get up here. Way colder than I expected outside. Oh, it feels like I'm like way up on a high mountain, but I'm not. Uh, the city is built around a mountain that there's a hiking path around, like you can walk around, it takes like three hours. Uh, it's been snowing, so there's a lot of snow on the path. Try that out. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can make my way up a little bit higher. Let's talk about the prime lens. I have two, three, if you count the one that's on the camera right now, it's pretty much stuck on my GH5. Uh, I use it for like the blogging part and B-roll, so it's not a very expensive lens. It's a prime lens, it's a 19 millimeter lens. I think that's equal like 30 maybe. The other two lenses that I have is a 30 millimeter lens and a 56 millimeter lens. Both great lenses. I've been using them most, like mainly for portrait and product photography. I haven't been using the prime lenses as much because 2470, as I said, it gives me the opportunity to have different focal lengths. Everything between 24 to 70, obviously. So the 24 to 70 is a lot better when it comes to run and gun and just grab and go. The 30 and the 56 millimeter lenses are perfect for portrait and product photography, but I've been using them uh, for landscape as well. I think they do a great job there, especially with the quality of the images. And they're like, they're easy to bring. I have both of them with me and I think they're way lighter than the 24 to 70 lens combined. Not as heavy on my back to carry them around. The negative part is that I need to switch out the lens more often than with the 24 to 70. I can just zoom in and out to get, get what I want. So let's head up a little bit higher. It's freezing cold right now. My fingers are numb, but I can barely feel them. I crashed my drone twice. One time I hit it in the trees. The other one wasn't really a crash. It's more of a bad landing. I was gonna land it, but because there's snow everywhere, I couldn't really land it where I wanted to. Decided to land it in my hand. It usually works out fine. When you only have one eye, you lose your, your ability to feel the distance. I missed the drone and it fell down in the snow. After the first crash, it still still worked. Uh, I'm not sure about the other one. So I have the 30 lens on right now. It's way too cold and I want to get back inside. Way too cold for this. Let's, let's head back home. I underestimated the weather. I want to get back into my the comfort of my own studio. Uh, so let's head 
back home and let's head inside before I'm freezing to death. Let's do a cool transition here. It's a little bit warmer inside and it's not as windy. I crashed my drone twice on that little hike I did. The drone was fine, but it dropped down in the snow. I don't know, uh, it's, I'm trying to dry it up. If you're just starting off with photography, running gun is an awesome way to learn the basic and to get the knowledge of how to frame the photo. You can't really rely on retakes. You only get one chance to like snap that perfect photo. So street photography is a great example of run and gun. If you're outside on the street and want to take some photos of like a person or a vehicle, it's a matter of timing to get it right. You will learn to see the frame and know how the scene will appear on, in camera before it really happen. For me, that's something that helped me a lot to develop and I think that's where you have to start. So get a camera with a kit lens and go out and shoot some photos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So I'll see you in the next one. Hold right.